Good morning, you guys. Today is Vlogmas Day 9, I believe. 9 or 10? I think 10. Today is not the best morning. I'm not thrilled. I haven't gotten ready yet. It's super early. I literally just dropped my daughter off at school. And I swear to God, sometimes I feel like we're living in like a twilight zone with this shit. And it's like, my daughter's school is very, very like... It's a very good school. We pay a lot of taxes. Not that it should matter, but it's a great school. And she's like already texting me at eight o'clock this morning that the teachers are concerned and that they're not on lockdown necessarily, but the classrooms are being locked and the teachers are acting strange and she's overheard some things. And it's just like, is this really the world we live in? It's like insane. Like, and I don't want to drive over there and be hysterical in case it's like something in the area. It, you know, they lock the schools down for almost anything. I remember there was like, I think a car accident and a fire down the road, they locked the school down. So they do like they, and there's a lot of students in there that have police officers for moms and dads or mostly fathers, but moms or dads, I'm not sure exactly. So I'm not concerned about the police being there or anything. It's like we always have police at the school. Um, they're always, always there. It's just like, how do you keep your kid calm? I'm just telling her, you know, are you on lockdown? She said no. And they were able to go from classroom to classroom. So I would assume if there was an active threat or an active situation, they would not be moving throughout the school. But it's so scary. It's like, how do you protect your child but still let them have independence and freedom I would never not let her go to school because it's one of her favorite things. It's the best thing that's happened to her was this school. And it's like, for fuck's sakes, what in the hell is going on? When is this going to be enough and it's going to stop? And it's just like, it's just not a good morning. So I'm just going to try to get myself together so I can get some Christmas presents wrapped, keep my mind off of it. I told her to... Text me in between each class, keep me updated, let me know what's going on. Okay, you guys, so everything has calmed down. I'm sorry I was so kind of like messy and fussy this morning. Um, to be honest with you, um, that's usually my personality. I'm very over the top and I take everything very serious. And I, it's funny because I used to be one of those people that were kind of judgmental when people who did social media or you know, even had little platforms would be like, oh, you guys bring me comfort or I turn here to get out whatever's going on, whether they're going through divorce or they're going through money troubles or a family member passed it away, whatever the situation is. I always thought like, how can strangers bring you comfort? But it's true. Like it is something to turn to and like just get out your feelings, almost like a diary in a way. But the nice thing is, is that you get feedback from people from different perspectives, I guess. I guess having um, a perspective that isn't from somebody close to you personally um, kind of makes it more believable and or more helpful because your husband's gonna tell you what you wanna hear. Whether they like, they admit that they do or not, of course they're going to. They're your husband or your sisters or your grandparents or your mom and dad. They're gonna be on your side. That's their job, that's who they are. It's an unconditional thing, hopefully. I know not for everyone. And um, in some ways it's toxic and not always good. Like I rather have been told the truth growing up and faced facts than to give false hope. I hate false hope. I hate when people give false hope. And I feel like getting opinions from people that don't know me and have nothing in the game with this in the situation, gain nothing, they lose nothing. It does help. It's very, very strange feeling I don't know how to explain it it's very comforting and weird at the same time but yeah I'm somebody who would rather just face it and move on than be led to believe something else so it's very nice when people are like hey listen get your ass to the doctor and do it or you are 100% wrong or you're 100% correct and it's just like they have nothing to lose by telling you the truth. Do you know what I mean? They don't give a shit in the end. I mean, you feel like you know these people and in a way you do care, but it's not going to affect you in your everyday life. Do you know what I mean? So it, I do get it. So the rest of the day should be good. I've been talking to her all morning. Everything is great. 
she's feeling much better so i felt comfortable getting ready for the day and kind of just relaxing because <laughs> i was ready to kill somebody i would be the mother that runs in to save the kids and risk because i'm telling you that kid is my whole entire life there is nothing she's just my whole life and you don't realize how important your kids are and it's such an unconditional thing it really is and for people that don't have that it's just such a sad thing and while I did have it growing up from my grandmother my mother wasn't always available emotionally which was sad but I'm just trying to be the mom that I needed and that I think my daughter needs the best mom so I'm gonna fix my hair real quick because I have a few straight pieces I'm listening to Crime Weekly um, podcast, and then I'm going to start wrapping those gifts because I do not want to be wrapping presents on New Year's, not New Year's, Christmas Eve. So we will wrap and chat. I could talk for hours about nothing and about a bunch. So maybe people can send me topics that they would want me to talk about. That would be incredibly fun um touching base on things that people might want to hear about my opinion that would be so cool maybe when i have a bigger platform like if i ever have a little more followers people would want that but that would be cool like you know just knowing my opinion about things because it all is just an opinion everybody has one they don't mean shit to be honest with you <laughs> so i will see you shortly Okay, so for wrapping paper, we're going to wrap gifts now for a little while and just chat. Here's the tissue paper I found. This was $2.99 for 50 sheets. Now, I know you can go to Dollar Tree and get it for $1.25, but I've never seen one so pretty. Boys, no barking. This is the amazing deal I got for those boxes. This was the paper I showed you yesterday. This paper, I don't know why I have it. I believe it's a Walmart brand. This is what I'm talking about, about the 40 square feet. This is not going to do much. I think this was probably my sister's. I don't think I would have bought that, but I might have. Then these are those big 200 square foot rolls that are graft paper. This is my gnomes one from last year that I love. And then your classic, excuse me, unless you want to be wrapped. And this is your classic Santa. I have scotch tape. I have yet to find my good scissors. So I'm literally not thrilled. I also have tags that I'll show you, like, like kind of like fancy tags but I can't find my ribbon. So tags might go on when I get a thing of ribbon from Walmart. I'm gonna go search this house for my scissors, my sharp scissors, because someone took them. And it was probably me who misplaced them, but I'm gonna blame somebody else because I don't wanna take the blame for it. So I will be back for you in no time, for me probably the next half hour looking for a good scissors. So I'll be right back. Okay, you have to get out of mama's way. I know you want attention, but you gotta go lay down. Go snuggle, okay? Go snuggle, okay? Go snuggle, okay? Okay, so let's just get started. You gotta move, Buster Brown. Um, I will go through and look to see if there's any type of papers. These are just a pair of black hay dudes that I got my daughter. Excuse me. I kind of want to open this new paper. Let's just try it out. It's very long. You got a lot of uh, length with this one. As you can tell, it's like quite a bit longer than the other 200 square feet ones. Okay, for right now, I feel like this is going to work a little bit better. But like you can see, I love this grid paper. It's so much easier for trimming and cutting. These dogs are never gonna let me. Hey, 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 what's wrong with you? You guys are crazy. I'm not on the floor to play. So we're just gonna, I love this grid paper for measuring. Of course you can't see a damn thing. Maybe that will help a little bit. Can you move? Okay, so you can see it's perfect for measuring and not overusing paper. So this is how I learned how to um, wrap. You count the squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
that's how much you need. Watch out, please. Okay, that was not perfect, but good enough for me. Let's move this out of the way. I'm not a professional in any means. I've just gotten a little bit better over the years. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then we cut the top. Watch out, bud. Watch out, bud. No, they're sharp. I had truly good shears. I wouldn't have to cut like that. Now save this piece because that will 100% fit something. And then we're just going to get to wrapping. I definitely won't bore you to death with all the wrapping. Um, and I'll think of something to chat about here in a second. But you guys, I just couldn't do it on the floor. Um, I was just too uncomfortable and I don't have the mobility that I need to do it. So we're just going to be up on the bed. I know you're not going to be able to see me, but that's okay. Watch out, bud. So like I was going to say, um, my husband and I, go ahead, baby, get up there, there, go ahead, baby, go ahead, honey, go ahead, Gilly, I can't do this with you today. So my husband and I watched Game of Thrones. My sister got us the HBO, that was her deal for me, and you know, she's young, but she is working full time. So she can swing the $14 a month. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't think so. So we started Game of Thrones. We had never seen it. Uh, instantly was addicted. Watched the whole season in less than six months. Series, I should say. Very, very excited. One house of, and this is what it looks like. Not perfect, but definitely not bad. Once it has some ribbon and a name tag, it will look even prettier. So we watched House of Dragon. We're on like the fourth episode. We're in the episode, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to give it away. But we're in the episode where Damon, the uncle, comes back and, in my opinion, is trying to seduce Rhaenyra. Um, hold on, buds. Okay, we got another pair of shoes. And let me tell you something, it's good. I was like very upset that this that we watched it so fast because it was like such an awesome experience. These are just some Converse. It was such an awesome experience. So I was very disappointed it was over. So I was so excited to see it come back. Let's see if we have enough room here for this one. Gilly, no. Oh my goodness, no. Do we have enough paper? Are we lucky enough to get enough paper? We just might have enough paper for this one. So you guys, has anyone that's a Game of Thrones fan, have they confirmed the um, series with Jon Snow? I hope so. Gilligan! Oh my god, is this not the most chaotic thing? Gil! Do you see him? Oh my goodness. No wonder people don't like me. I'm so unprofessional, for God's sakes. But yeah, um, has anyone seen if they've confirmed it? Because I would absolutely go ballistic. Because Jon Snow, I love. I would love to see if he if it ends up doing anything with the uh, like the Targaryen part of his heritage. I don't know. I would be so excited to see. But yeah, we're watching um, House of Dragon, and we just started this show, Shameless. I don't know why um, we never thought to watch it before. So if you ever wondered what our sense of humor is like, it's not for everybody. You definitely have to have um, quite a wicked sense of humor to like the show, but it's funny. We're only on like episode four of that as well but we like it so far. And um, at nighttime, I like to watch something that will calm me down because I get very hyper if I watch something that I love. So like the nights that I would watch Game of Thrones 
and they would be like okay so like the battle of the bastards or the the battle of the um the white walkers oh my god i couldn't sleep those nights i was so hyper after so i try to watch shows that will kind of calm me down so something that if you're looking for a really good show the middle i'm re-watching it and it's such a such a good show and it's so relatable i literally love it so also you guys some 90s like throwbacks if you're looking for something wholesome and fun um i probably should have done a different piece of paper but that's okay um if you're a golden girls fan did you guys know that there was another spinoff called the golden palace and i believe it's on hulu or something i'll put it in the description so you can look oh my gosh it's really funny and good so here's Gift number two, the Golden Palace is amazing. Also, you know what else I've been watching? Um, I watched it so long ago, but I didn't really remember, but Blossom. I love it with the girl from um, like the Big Bang Theory. I literally love that show. She's so beautiful in that show. And not that she's not pretty now, but she's kind of more like, I don't know, what would you say, nerdy? Okay, so this is a hoodie. Yeah, she's a little nerdy, but um, she's absolutely stunning in that show. I also, I mean, I like everything. I love Sister, Sister. I love Family Matters. I love Step by Step. And it's really nice because a lot of it's on HBO. But yeah, is anybody else watching House of Dragon? It's really good. So this one is for my daughter. It's an Ariat hoodie. I would never have paid full price. I got this on Black Friday. So please don't think that I paid whatever it is, $80, whatever the crazy ass price is. I got that really affordable. Not for me. I personally would have went to Walmart and been thrilled with a Walmart hoodie. But yesterday, get down, honey. Yesterday I went to ross and tj maxx and that's the vlog you'll see today and i hope you like see these this is really nice this is a great um purchase i'm really happy i might go back to another ross and try to get another set so you get quite a bit here awesome 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 like i said i'm doing this because if i don't do it soon i will wait before the night before Christmas. I did it one year and I didn't wrap anything. And this was when my family still did big Christmases. So it was about seven years ago. I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. Do you know that I was wrapping till like, I don't know, um, four o'clock in the morning? I was in tears. I was so overwhelmed and I couldn't let my you know some of my family my husband he can't rap he's a pain in the ass and useless when it came to that and i couldn't have my sisters help and they were still young at the time and my daughter certainly couldn't help i was so overwhelmed and i vowed never to do it again but i also let me see if i can get me in here a little bit i had also vowed that i would never wait till december to christmas shop again and guess what it's december 9th and i'm not even halfway done so Made a big mistake there too. But that's just how I roll. I'm a big procrastinator, the biggest procrastinator. Well, this is what the paper looks like. Uh, I'm gonna say, I think the dollar store is probably better quality. Not gonna lie. Okay, so a lot of stuff like this I keep in the packaging. I know it looks ugly. But sometimes my daughter has to return things. So it's just easier to keep it that way. I don't think I want to, maybe I'll do an extra tissue in this one. We'll do the little fire truck and maybe a piece of white. I don't usually buy tissue paper. I usually don't buy anything special for wrapping, but I just felt a little fancy this year. I don't even usually wrap the boxes. I'm like really kind of like, as they got older, I got a little bit lazy. 
You know what? That's not okay. My mother would really be rolling in her grave if she knew I didn't wrap the gifts nicely. So something about my mom. She was not always like the most affectionate person. But when it came to Christmas, that was her thing. She just turned into a different person around Christmas time. And you would see just like a different side to her. And growing up, I didn't really care for Christmas. I was kind of that kid that always just didn't really care for the confusion of Christmas. And for almost half my life, my family always thought I hated Christmas. I'm not going to even pretend. And I'm just being honest, like I did. I just had a lot of disappointment growing up. And I found out early about things that I probably shouldn't have. And it just was always such a disappointment. So when my daughter started being old enough to realize I didn't want the same thing for her. So I had to really kind of fake it for a couple of years. I think I picked the wrong size box. So I had to fake it for a couple of years till I started to truly enjoy the spirit of Christmas. And to this day, obviously my daughter knows about Santa. But I always say to her like, there was years that me and your dad were so hard up for money and had nothing and we still were able to figure out Christmas and you don't think that that has to have been somehow Santa's help do you know what I mean like we couldn't have done it without Santa's help and I always tell her that because it's the truth you don't necessarily have to believe in Santa but you have to believe in the spirit of it because there's people that have no money and still are able to do Christmas whether that's else Honey, whether that's outside resources, which I had had help before from, um, I used to have to go to like a group counseling through CARA, which is for women in crisis. And they provided and helped me many times when I had nothing. So we're going to wrap with this fun paper. So definitely if you're kind of like, going through some financial, definitely look into your community. Sometimes people will donate and adopt families this time of the year. My husband and I have done that many times. Last year, we donated turkeys. Um, so definitely look out for resources. Don't just get discouraged and defeated too, too much because there are people that will help and are willing to help. You can adopt families, look through local churches, and don't ever feel judged. Don't ever, don't let people make you feel bad or anything if you are trying to help your family. And then you know what? Maybe one day you'll be in a position to help and give back. But until then, take the resources if you need them. And get the help that you need so that you can give your family a beautiful Christmas. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have to be about how many gifts you have. It's just having a few things under the tree for your child and your family. So just definitely, I know it's easier said than done. I know. So I love this paper. I love gnomes. They're some of my favorite characters. You guys, I feel talked out. I don't even know, like, what to talk about because I've been talking for, like, seven days to you guys. So, I have no idea what to even talk about. I don't even know a topic. Um, gosh, I don't even know what to really talk to you guys about. Um, hmm. talk about now that I kind of just been sitting here one year we went to Disney World for Christmas and good lord was that an experience so my grandfather retired and part of like one of his pat like um he didn't retire from anything like a union or anything but he I guess part of one of the the gifts he was given three thousand dollars 
and this was probably 16 years ago he was given like three thousand dollars to take a vacation and my family decided to put it towards a disney vacation that was just a short vacation i think it was um three days and four nights no no it would be four days and three nights sorry and we decided to go like two weeks before christmas and let me tell you something I've been to Disney several times. I think I've been to Disney now four different times. And it was the worst experience. It was not good. Um, it's just such a busy time. And you have people there that have been there for weeks. And they stay an extended time. And, oh, I got a hair stuck to me. And it's just so, it's not the best time. It's just like the amount of people was unbelievable that it was almost felt like it should have been illegal this is the next present so then in my mom passed away in 2015 april 21st so we decided to take my husband and i saved for a long time about a year and we paid for the whole trip on our own and we took my grandparents, my two sisters, myself, my husband, my daughter, and a, an extended family member. And um, we stayed for five days and six nights. No, six days and five nights. Peach, get out of the presents. And we went in March and it was a fun time. It, it was a much better time. The only day that was bad was the last day we were there because it was spring break had just started. And it was, you could see the crowd rolling in. But up until that point, March was a good time. And I feel like November is a good time to go right before the holidays really hit, like late October. We had gone in 2005, we had gone for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. And that was a lot of fun as well. But I don't recommend going at the Christmas season. I really don't. So let me grab another gift. So these are weird gifts that she wanted. She wanted four white pillowcases. I don't know why. This is a mirror. Um, I actually probably should have opened it to make sure it was okay. Yes. Some type of weird mirror. Um, she wanted a new beige lanyard. Um, I do have to get like stocking stuffers. This is a middle finger doom supplies. I don't know. It's like a little middle finger. I don't think she saw the dimensions, how little they were. And this is a little wallet of some sort. So these are just small gifts. And I have, I thought I had wrapping paper for them, but, um, do you know what my brat of a daughter said to me the other day? I said to her, pick it, you know, what do you want for Christmas? This was about a month ago. I said, do you want like um, room decor? She said, why would I want room decor? She's like, I'm gonna be out of here in two years anyway. I said, first of all, you witch, what do you think you're not gonna come? I didn't really call her that. <laughs> I was thinking it. I was like, don't you think you're gonna come home for summers? And I don't know, after college? Um, what do you think? You buy a house immediately out of college? Are you out of your mind? So I think she got the hint and decided to pick some room decor. I was like, you gotta make that room your own. I don't just get rid of your room because you're in college. What the heck is wrong with these kids? So she actually, the school she goes to does quarterly meetings with the guidance. I don't know, I'm sure all schools do. You guys, I'm going to look into an external mic so that I'm not always shouting. Because number one, it hurts my voice. And number two, I don't know how well you can hear me. So I'm going to try to look into maybe an external mic. Or is that even what it's called? A microphone. So that you guys can hear me better. And so I'm not always feeling the need to shout. Um, but yeah, her school always does these um, quarterly meetings. I guess at the end of the marking period. To just kind of like gauge where the student is grade wise um how they're doing in their classes yada 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 well last year she was in ninth grade and the guidance counselor asked her like hey 
what do you think you're gonna go into for as far as a career like are you going to a trade school are you going to work are you going to college and she wasn't sure she just knew she wanted to go to college so this year when she went to talk to him she was like hey you know i'm thinking about doing becoming an engineer and minoring in um interior design something like that um either engineer architecture something like that where she built so she's in like an iSTEM class where they build bridges, um, they read blueprints, all that stuff. Well, he said, you know, I'm worried about extracurricular activities. Her grades are fabulous. She hasn't been asked to be in the national honors yet. I don't know if that's junior, senior year. Her grades are typically A's and B's, mostly A's with one occasional B thrown in there. So she's been on the principals list. So as far as her grades are concerned, I have no concerns. She does fantastic, especially in math, which she's very gifted, which is the total opposite of whatever I did. I always had a better knack for reading and writing, things like that. So they are, now that they know what she's looking at, they're going to put her in some classes that will help towards that and will look good on transcripts. And she went for... Um, cheer tryouts again for winter cheer and they told her that if she does four years of cheerleading four years of golf that will look fabulous i personally want her to do something else but if they know what they're doing i told her she absolutely needs volunteer work i don't even know it used to be required for graduation because i remember my sisters had to do it um, I don't know if that's the case anymore, but I personally want her to do volunteer work. She wanted to do volunteer work in like the animal shelters, but unfortunately, almost every single one I've contacted is over 18. So then she's like, well, what can I do? I said, well, you can go do candy striping in a hospital. You could do um, volunteer work at a library like I do with my client that I work for. Next package. Um you could do pretty much anything you can contact a local church and sometimes they'll have you do little things around the church there's all kinds of stuff i personally think she needs it and it will look really really good i'm sorry these scissors are trash will look really good for college um she is looking at a couple places for work she is 16 now so she's able to get a job much easier than last year. And she has a couple places in mind um, that a lot of the kids work. Like, it's pretty nice around here. Most of the kids in the off season can work at certain farms and produce stands. And there's lakes around here that they hire the kids for. Wawa is very good about hiring the kids. So we shall see what she does. But I just, you know, that's my fear. I'm like, now my fear is college, how we're going to afford it, how we're going to, you know, everything. It's just so scary. I've never, like with my sisters, because my mother died, technically speaking, they were both independents. My one sister had a full, complete, she had a $7,500 scholarship on top of, um, she had FAFSA, I believe it's called, so she never owed anything. Um, my other sister had some grants, but she also has some student loans. Um, so for my daughter, I just don't know how it works. So they will have a college, per the college financial people come out next year. On top of, you know, she goes this year for driver's ed already. And I'm like thinking like, how do we afford a car and like i know we can it's just like such a scary thing and i think about like these people that have like most of my friends have five or um, five four kids i'm thinking to myself how in the hell do they do it how do they send five kids to college or four kids to college or like i don't know it's so scary and i only have one to worry about i don't know man it's like I know these are all things that I should be so grateful that I'm worried about. Like I'm 
I am so grateful that these are the things I'm worried about, but it doesn't make it any less nerve wracking. And like I've said in the past, I don't really have any girlfriends. I, I don't have much people to talk to. So it's just nice having this platform to reach out because it's not easy to make friends at this age. And the few people that, you know, I do talk to are my husband's friends. And I mean, they're of course polite and nice to me. It's not that they're not, but they're not my friends. Do you know what I mean? Or just, they always say they are and like, they're never not nice to me, but it's not the same as girlfriends. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I love when my, like when I look at my analytics and it's um, a bigger female audience on my channel, it just, I always tell my husband, like there's more women watching and it just makes me super duper happy. So I'm going to wrap some gifts, listen to a podcast because we're already at 17 minutes and I don't want to bore you to death. And I will come back and show you the progress and maybe wrap a few more gifts towards the end with you guys. Because I certainly don't want to um, bore you to death. And um, I shall see you soon. I think you're really going to like uh, yesterday's vlog. And then my birthday is Sunday, but tomorrow we're doing something that I don't know about. So is he not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Butters. Honey. Oh, butter. Look how cute you are. Oh my god. You're just about as cute as the thing is in the whole world. Oh, Bottles. Bottles. I'll be back. Ooh, I had to show you this, uh, like, tissue paper. It's like tin. And I thought this looked really cool. I've never seen tissue paper like that, but I guess that's what happens when you buy, like, more nicer kind. Look how nice that is. I don't know what this, like, material is, but some of them are like that. I really like that, so I had to stop and show you guys. I'm obsessed. So I never buy these, like, fancy Christmas tags, but they were so cute, and they were $2.99. I know you didn't get that many. Okay, so I know you don't get that many, but you get little Santa Clauses. Look how stinking cute. And then they have the two from in the present. Then you get a little snowman, little tiny penguins, and polar bears. And you get 24 for $2.99. I do have to get ribbon to tie these on. So today I'm only going to wrap my daughter's gifts that I have. But tell me these aren't the most darling things. I know I could have bought like whatever it is, 500 of the sticky things, which is usually what I do for like whatever it is, is it, what is it, a dollar? But I just, I don't know. I was in such a good mood yesterday and I thought these would be perfect. You guys, I didn't realize, uh, I never realized how much time I spend in my car until I decided to do Vlogmas and do it right. Cause last year I did it very differently. Um, I didn't really vlog last year. Last year I did more like Christmassy videos, like, um, hauls and gift guides and things like that which isn't what vlogmas is i think vlogmas is like a little taste in a people's like chaotic life at this most like chaotic time of the year i feel like that is what it really is and that's why i love it is i love seeing like everyone's chaotic life this time of the year not mine's not so so much but i guess i didn't realize how um much time I actually spend in the car. So I'm just so I'm just running to my daughter's school to pick her up about an hour early. I just want her home after this morning. She really hasn't missed much school, so I'm just going to get her. It's a Friday. Um, she really won't miss like a lot. I'm not picking her up too too early. I'm only picking her up 45 minutes early. I just want her home today. It's my birthday weekend, and I want her home. You know what I mean? I'm the mom, I make the decisions. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I want her home today. So I'm gonna go pick her up a little early, surprise her, um, and start off the weekend good. I think it's gonna be a really good weekend. This time of the year is always kind of like stressful, but I think it's gonna be the first time it's just like a really good holiday. And um, yeah, I'm excited for my husband to get home. He should be home kind of early. Usually they 
kind of scoot out of there early on Fridays, maybe have a nice glass of wine tonight and just watch some TV or read and relax. And then tomorrow, figure out what in the world we're going to do. I know we're going out for dinner for my birthday and he has something else planned. Um, not exactly sure what. I do need to run to Walmart. I was literally at Walmart yesterday and didn't go. I need to get shampoo and conditioner. We are completely out. I'm about out of body wash. I got the Dove Winter Care scent and it's nice. It really is. It's so moisturizing, but the problem is, oh goodness, is that the um, scent isn't, it, it's like, okay, you know the white bar soap from Dove? It's like that, but like very minimal. There's not a lot of scent to it. And I like to smell fresh after the shower. So I saw this thing about Dove that it's a it's not like a actual wash that you don't clean. It's just to moisturize with. I don't know how true that is. I've been using Dove for more years than any other cosmetic product. And I don't know. So I do love Dove. I think it's one of the best besides Olay. And I need body wash and I need to get some deodorant. So I might run out and do that later. I have to stop eating gas. I never got gas yesterday. And I am, let me see here. I know if I had an emergency like this morning, I thought I would have been in trouble. I have 60 miles till empty, which I don't usually do that. Um, for a long time, usually my husband would go get me gas once a week. Um, but our lifestyle is just a little too busy for him to do that for me. But I did appreciate it. For many years, he would go get me gas on one of the evenings throughout the week. But I know that he's just so exhausted from work and I wouldn't make him do that. I appreciate it, but... If he's out and about with my car, he'll go get it. But he also doesn't take my car. Oh, gosh. Barely ever drives my car anymore. So, okay. I'm going to go to the school. I don't know what else is going to go on today. Probably not much. We have some leftovers in the refrigerator to, left to eat. So, I'm not making anything special for dinner. So, if something happens to come up, I will continue to record or this might be the end of today's video. I don't know yet. Um, I know it's not the end of the day. It's still early. It's only 1 o'clock. So, we shall see what happens. If I run to the store, I'll show you what I pick up. Other than that, I'm not really sure. I think I just talked a lot today like usual. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I will update you too if my daughter found anything out that went on this morning. Usually, whenever there's a lockdown drill, I get an email at the end of the day or some day, sometimes midday, just saying on December 8th at 9 o'clock, we did a practice lockdown drill, we did a practice fire drill, whatever the case. I have not gotten an email updating what went on, if there was something in the area, in the middle school, at the high school, so I'm curious to see what in the hell went on. Um... Brooke said once they were out of our class that other teachers didn't seem as nervous as her. So we shall see. I don't know. I don't like it regardless. And I was very overwhelmed this morning. Because when I went to school, your biggest fear was a fire drill. Do you know what I mean? I mean, of course there were school shootings then, but not like it is night. It's... I never had a lockdown drill ever, even in high school. I graduated in 2006, so I don't know. I don't know what these kids are, what it's like to be a child these days. It sucks. That's all I do know. So I will see you guys in a little bit. 